Welcome to the eyewitness tutorial. This movie touches on the basics only and there's a lot more functionality within eyewitness. To begin a project in eyewitness click file and import images. Path to your working folder, in this case we have a folder named demo tutorial. In the image browser click the double right arrow and click OK. Double click the first and fourth image as illustrated. The project must be started with two images with good angle separation. In this case we selected the first and fourth image which gave us the best separation. Basic navigation within eyewitness. To zoom, place the cursor at the location to zoom in or out and scroll the mouse wheel. To select a region to zoom in, depress the Alt key and diagonally drag the cursor over the area of interest. To pan the image, depress the scroll wheel on the mouse and then simply drag the mouse. The eyewitness referencing procedure. Click the plus R button and the cursor becomes a green pencil. Notice how the two images display green R's. The user can only reference two images at one time. Natural features can be carefully reference marked as well as synthetic targets such as photogrammetric markers. To mark natural features, zoom in and position the green pencil tip on the area of interest. Then cross reference it in the other image. To reference mark the photogrammetric markers, there are two different methods Eyewitness utilizes, so we'll illustrate both methods. Place the green pencil cursor close to the area of the white circle and click the X key. Click anywhere in the green blob and the target is marked automatically. Continue the process for the other image. X key and mark anywhere in the green blob. The other option for semi-automatic measurement of the photogrammetric markers is to click on the point centroiding mode icon that will illustrate now. Just drag around the dot area and it's automatically centered. Notice how the point labels are orange. As soon as enough points are marked, which can be as little as 7 points or sometimes as many as 10 points, the images are then automatically oriented and the reference points turn green. Complete the referencing process on all points before proceeding on to the third image. Double click on another image thumbnail that shares the overlapping area of the referenced points. Click the R button on one of the two images followed by clicking on the image that was just introduced.
You can use the R key on the keyboard as a shortcut to do the same thing by clicking anywhere in the two images after you've hit the R on the keyboard. After five or six points are referenced in the third image, blue predicted labels are presented which allow the operator to simply depress the two key on the keyboard and eyewitness will drive the user to the point to be reference marked. For natural features, left mouse click at the proper location and for the markers, optionally use the X key described earlier. Depress the 2 key and the active point becomes purple. Just keep hitting the 2 key and in this case the X key for markers. Left mouse click for the cone markers and that image is complete. With all four images referenced, points can now be renamed and line connected as well as changing colors and image tracing of features like curb edges, manhole covers, vehicles, and much more using the facet form polyline tool. In order to measure to specified units of inches, feet, millimeters, or meters, at least one known distance is required in the images. In this demonstration, we measured a distance with a tape 25 feet between marker A and B. Hold down the control key and select the two points that define the measured distance. Right mouse click and select the scale option. A units dialog box is presented and enter the units, in this case, feet. Enter the distance and click Apply, followed by Close. Notice in the Eyewitness 3D view how the coordinate system is in the first image of the two images that were initially referenced. In order to define the coordinate system, where the XY plane is generally on the road surface, we have to define the coordinate system's origin, along with a point to define the axis direction, and finally one more point that defines a plane of the three points. We're going to use marker B as the origin, marker A to define the X axis, and marker named Skid Start to define the plane selected in that order. Right mouse click and select 3 to 1. The three points are populated in the dialog. All that is necessary to do is click the OK and the 3D model has been translated, rotated, and scaled into the user-defined coordinate system. The 3D model can now be optionally exported to any CAD program that reads the DXF file format. Click the 3D list button followed by clicking the DXF button. Provide a name to the DXF, click OK, and the project has been completed.